Welcome back, and as promised, we are starting off our show today with Coach Ryan Walker of Resilience, a private gym here in Park City. Ryan, we're so happy to have you on the show today. Oh, thank you so much, Christine. It's awesome to be here. It's a great pleasure and privilege to be here. Thank you. It's great to have you. Great to connect virtually. And Ryan, I'd love to hear more about you. Tell me about your journey and how you started out as becoming a fitness trainer and a personal coach. Yeah, so I've been a health and fitness coach for almost 12 years now. I'm also a licensed massage therapist. I've been doing that for about four years. Um, I've always been very fascinated with movement and movement efficiency. So that's ultimately what led me to go into massage therapy was to be able to take the tools that I learned there and apply them with personal training clients, to be able to go in and manually work on tissues that were restricted and restri restricting people's functional movement capabilities. Uh, I've been an athlete most of my life, mostly uh, a tumbler, kind of a backyard tumbler, so to speak. Um, and I ultimately found my way into the gym because I was really interested in how I could optimize my athletic capabilities. And over time, just gathering as many tools as I could. Um, and here I am today, uh, a massage therapist and trainer with something that I've always envisioned doing. And as an athlete, it sounds like your entire life, fitness, exercise really has been a natural thing for you. But really, what has sparked your passion for helping others on their fitness, their health, their wellness journey? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I believe we all have inherent qualities about us, things that, uh, passions that drive us. And um, for me, it was fitness, you know, finding my way into the weight room and learning about, you know, when I was a kid, 15, 16, it was about building muscle, right? Like most teenage kids, right? But then over time, I started to realize uh, that there's so many more components to this lifestyle spectrum of health and wellness, right? We've got, you know, the psycho-emotional components, we've got social components, even financial, right? There's all these different things that are contributed to this kind of I call lifestyle umbrella and fitness plays a, a big role there. However, um, as a coach, what I try to do is help people find harmony and alignment across the spectrum because you could have uh, the best fitness program, the best dietary nutritional program. But if you're out with, say, the wrong peer group uh, consistently two, three times a week out till two o'clock in the morning, your sleep suffers, uh, everything else kind of follows suit. So the idea is to create harmony and balance across the lifestyle spectrum. And that's, I would say, where uh, what sets me apart from a lot of coaches is what are you doing outside of the gym as well to optimize performance? Well, that's something that I'm curious about. It seems that health and fitness coaches, they all have different philosophies and different ways to approach exercise and helping their clients. And you are really interested in that harmonizing, that balance. Sounds like you're not so much into counting calories or getting to a certain place that everyone thinks you should be at. So tell me a little bit more about your personal philosophy and what you take when you're helping clients. Yeah, certainly. So if, you know, for athletes, if you're a competitive athlete, absolutely, we should be counting your macros, we should be uh, measuring your vertical leap, we should uh, create a periodized, a periodized program across a time spectrum and make sure that by the time of competition, you're ready to go. But the reality is that's not how most people operate, right? Most people don't want to take a food scale to the restaurant and, you know, measure out their grams of carbohydrates. That's just not sustainable. It's not realistic. So my philosophy is one, find people's why. What is your drive behind fitness because the best fitness program is going to be the one that is adhered to. So how do we adhere to that? Well, we have to have a very strong psycho-emotional anchor to the reason behind that. So I like to run my clients through kind of the, the why uh, exercise, right? The finding your why, a great book by uh, Simon Sinek. And what you're trying to do is get to the very root foundation of why do you want to improve your fitness? And then the more people dig, they get to the bottom and the foundation and they realize that it's something entirely different from what they thought. It's not this superficial idea of, well, I wanna look good this summer. It's, hey, I wanna be healthy and I wanna be around for my kids or my grandkids, right? So now you have this strong psycho-emotional uh, anchor that's going to allow you to sustain the training program and it's not going to be a chore, it's going to be a lifestyle for you. Um, so that's, that's number one for me. Number two is giving my clients principles and tools that they can apply. I, you know, it might sound kind of counterintuitive as a coach, but you're like, I'm putting myself out of business, so to speak. But the reality is I want to uh, teach and educate my clients. I want you to understand what good movement looks like and feels like, uh, how to train your metabolic system to be efficient, both using fats or carbohydrates. So by the time you're done training with me, you have a solid uh, understanding that you can apply for the rest of your life. I like that. Fitness as an anchor, it really can affect all aspects of life and parts of life that you wouldn't even imagine that it is a part of. So it's 
I like the, your philosophy that it really helps anchor you and really affects your entire life. And if you are an athlete, then it is about being very specific and maybe hitting that five, six minute mile. But if you're not, you might have other goals and you really dig into that. It sounds like you have really an individualized approach to each of your clients. Yes, yeah, certainly. And, um, you know, uh, not to be negative or pessimistic, but that is something I see a lot of in the personal training sphere is it's personal training. It's sold its personal training, yet people are getting the same generic programming and training as the previous client. Um, that's to me what makes training so fulfilling and exciting is each individual comes to me with a different goal. Some people just want to sweat. I totally get it. I just want to come in, tell me what to do. I need the accountability. Great. I'll do that. Some people come in, they want body recomposition, which is probably the most prominent reason people find coaches or trainers or pursue a fitness program is they want to decrease fat mass and they want to increase lean muscle mass. Totally understandable. But some people, some of my clients, they just want to uh, improve function. They want to learn how to move with efficiency and safety. And um, so, you know, I, I develop a tailored program for that individual. And I think that's very important because anybody can make somebody sweat, come in, hey, do a hundred burpees today and then we're done. Like it's, it's just not sustainable. And it's uh, to me, it's kind of a disservice to the individual paying, you know, a, a fair amount of money for personal training. They should be getting the service they deserve. Yeah, a hundred burpees, I'm out. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, right. a lot of burpees. So tell me more about Resilience, this private gym that you've recently opened here in Park City. Oh, yeah. Sorry for the miscommunication there. Uh, I don't own resilience. I train out of resilience. It's a it's a relatively new gym. Uh, Michael Con Conwell Conville. Uh oh, I'm forgetting his name. <laughs> but anyway, he owns resilience. Fantastic gym, small private gym. Um, it's 24 seven access. It is a private gym because there is going to be a member cap at some point, which is nice because being a smaller gym, you don't want two, 300 people in the gym at one time. Right. So, um, wonderful, wonderful place. Uh, Michael, the owner has given me, uh, given all of us trainers over there, a lot of cre uh, creative, uh, or the ability to, to express our creativity and market how we want to and work with clients, clients, clients as we would like to, um, a very functional kind of gym. Uh, so not a ton of, you know, bodybuilding machines, really more kind of what you might see in kind of a CrossFit type gym, a lot of pull-up bars, but also great. You know, we've got the, uh, we've got the Woodway treadmills that are good to optimize running gait efficiency. We've, he's got a couple of those um, Peloton bikes as well. So great facility, but sorry for the miscommunication there. I don't own it, but it is a wonderful gym and uh, shout out to Michael for opening it. So how can people train with you? Yeah, so, you know, I've been in the process of building a website, but right now it's kind of just direct uh, either email or phone number, <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, either of those are really direct ways to get a hold of me. People can reach me at um, coachryanwalker at gmail.com and just shoot me a message. And um, I always offer, you know, a free uh, session if you'd like to come in and just see how we work together. I don't take it personally anymore. You know, some people prefer to work with a female. Some people have preferences. Um, so, you know, if, if you don't like my training style, hey, great, come on in for free session, see if you like it. Um, so that's probably the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, just Ryan Walker on Facebook here in Park City. Well, Ryan, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today. I really appreciate the way you approach health, fitness, wellness in this overized harmonizing approach. It's really impressive to see that as an anchor. So if you want more information about Ryan Walker, you can find him on social media or you can even email him. All right, we'll be back with more right after this.